Everybody, my name is Rusty Allen, and I'm Levi Caesar, and I want to welcome you to Rusty Allen's virtual fan club, where we will be like doing some segments um, based on my history and the history of Oakland, and some other topics that we'll be touching base with. Uh, yeah, so we invite you to you know come check us out and listen to what we're talking about today. Uh, right now, we're going to be talking about uh, my initial uh, hookup with. Uh, uh, the whole music thing and how I grew up in Sabrani Park and, you know, how one thing led to another and how I actually ended up with Sly and the Family Stone and other, you know, name groups uh, in the business. So, But uh, you know what, Rusty, before we do that, why why are we even doing this? Because I heard that you, you're going on your own, you're doing solo, got a solo project coming up. That's really why we're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's good, Levi. You know, um, you know, um, We've been working on some solo music for a while, and uh, we got a remix together. We have uh, some 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 video footage, man. We have a lot of things that we want to share with you guys, and so we just want to kind of like take you on this journey with us. And as we move along, you know, you'll see how things developed and how one thing was led to another thing, and and here we are today doing what we're doing for you right now. Well, uh, uh, why did why did you decide why did you decide right now is the time? to do your solo effort? Well, you know, uh, time is running out for one thing. And, you know, I just, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm just inspired to do what I can do while I'm here to do it. You know, uh, I'm uh, I'm inspired, you know, by all the great musicians, all the great bass players that are out there. And, you know, I just wanted to leave some type of legacy, uh, you know, chronicled for myself, you know, musically and, you know, uh, and, uh, spiritually and literally, you know, so people could have something to relate to as far as uh, Rusty Allen's life was concerned. So that's why we're here. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. What's well, the obvious thing is uh, we're both from uh, the Bay Area and kind of the Oakland area. So tell me a little bit about, you know, you know, your upbringing, where you're from, how how the Bay Area has influenced your sound, that kind of thing. All right, 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 right. You know, it's. It's pretty incredible, man. It's like uh, when we came from the south, from uh, Monroe, Louisiana, we moved to Alameda. And, uh, you know, my dad worked at the Naval Air Station, so, you know, he was kind of like a military guy. And then he took us to Oakland, to a little community called Sobrani Park. And uh, being at Sobrani Park, growing up as a kid, was a great time. I had a great time. You know, mm. we used to, like, you know, play baseball. And, you know, there was this rope man that we hung from this tree, and we would swing across the creek. and. You know, and everything, and you can do what you want to do. You can do it. Yeah. Oh yes, you can. All you can do what you want to do. Sly Stone would come on the radio, and we would be listening to Sly and. You know, I would be like, wow, man. And, you know, I was in the James Brown and the Temptations and the whole thing. And, you know, my mom would let me stay up late at night. And, you know, they'd be playing cards. And she would let me stay in front of the stereo playing Ray Charles and Jimmy Reed and everything. And wow. it just got into my blood, you know. And, mm -hmm. uh, it was a great thing. So, you know, just growing up in Sobrani Park, you know, uh, we started like, you know, trying to play music and uh, there was a couple of guys in the neighborhood that had electric guitars and I was just like blown away with that. I was like, that's what I want to do. You know? That's what I want to do. Mm. And uh, so one thing led to another and uh, next thing I knew my mom got me a bass, you know. And What, what age were you at when you started playing? I was around 14, about okay. 14, you know, and mm -hmm. you know, uh, man, at that time, man, Oakland was so cool, man, because you know, James Brown would come to the Oakland Auditorium and, you know, man, I remember seeing James Brown at the Oakland Auditorium one time and I was so close to the stage that I could just literally put my arms up on the stage oh, and wow. look up at him, man. Wow. And it was just amazing, man, how how funky and just how rich and everything that music was, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
you know, so, but I got exposed to a lot of things and, you know, uh, there was this neighbor that lived across the street, Ronnie Duffy, man, he had this red guitar and it was the reddest guitar I ever seen in my life, Levi, it was so red and beautiful. And I was like, and he'd be on the porch playing Chuck Berry songs and everything. I was like, man, I want to do that. So, you know, like I said, eventually my mom got me a bass and I started messing around with the bass. Next thing I know, we playing little talent shows at Madison Junior High School and Erwin Taylor Memorial Hall oh. and, you know, going over to the Oakland Auditorium and, you know, playing, you know, these little talent shows and, you know, playing Green Onions and stuff and Booker T and the MG songs and stuff. Uh, uh, I remember this one situation, uh, Larry Van, who uh, lives in Brookfield, who's, who's a prominent drummer today, you know, kind of helped out a little group out. We was trying to play this song by Booker T and the MGs, and our drummer couldn't play it. So I heard Larry playing. I said, Larry, man, can you come play this song with us? He was like, yeah, man. So he jumped on the drums, and it was just magic. <laughs> oh, that's cool, <laughs> you know man. That's cool. Oh, yeah. So. Well, tell, tell me about um, some of the, uh, the and what is, you know, there's a lot of famous people out in Oakland. But they were a lot younger then. Tell me about some people or artists that you knew that were really young then that were in the neighborhood. Right, 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 right. Well, you know, uh, <clears throat> man, uh, you know, the guys that was holding down the the, uh, the music scene, guys like Johnny Talbot and Eddie Foster and uh, uh, um, uh, the Whispers, man, and, you know, they were all coming up, man. You know, I was just, you know, I was still a teenager, man. The Whispers were coming up. You guys stay tuned. We'll be right back. You know, a lot of the Bay Area greats, man, were, you know, just holding Oakland down, man. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, the musicians were just, you know, just so on point, man, with funk, man, and jazz and everything. And, you know, I was able to <clears throat> kind of like, you know, check a lot of that stuff out on the outside because the club owners wouldn't let me come in because I was too young. Too young so yeah, I just had to sit in the car outside yeah, yeah. and just listen, you know, but it was just amazing what they were doing. And uh, eventually, man, I ended up playing with some of those guys. Mm, okay. Yeah. Like you, you played with uh, Johnny Talbert? And... Yeah, you know, okay. I ended up playing with Johnny Talbert. Um, I remember one time, um, me and my friends, I used to go to, I used to like ride a bus to West Oakland to play with my friends in West Oakland, man. I'd put my bass in my bass amp. I had a piggyback St. George, you know, cabinet and a head. And man, I put all that stuff on the bus, man. And I would ride bus cross town, man, and get off and transfer downtown Oakland and take all that stuff off the bus and put it on the next bus and ride to West Oakland and then carry that stuff down the street. But that's where I was at. I was going to play hook or crook. But uh, one day we was riding around in West Oakland and I saw this guy sitting at the shoe shine stand getting his shoes shined. And I looked and I said, stop the car, stop the car, pull it off. They was like, what? I said, pull the car off the roads, pull mm -hmm. over. And so they did and I jumped out and I ran up to the dude and it was Johnny Talbot. Oh, okay. And I was like, man, I want to play in your band. <laughs> and he told me, man, who are you, young, young crazy fool? Who are you? I say, man, I want to play in your band. Next yeah, thing yeah. I know, I'm playing in this band. I'm in 11th grade. Wow, yeah. wow. Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in. Look out for more episodes of Rusty Allen's Virtual Fan Club.